Hey guys, welcome to the third episode of Behind the Time Lapse. In this episode, we're gonna have a look at a motion control time lapse, which is this one. It's part of the more rainy uh, part of the film. I really like it because you can see the rain coming in, like rolling in from behind. And to kind of show a bit of depth in the image, I included a foreground with uh, a movement. And for that, I used the Serp Genie, uh, which is a great tool. I was also using the Magic Carpet Track, the short one, so there wasn't a huge distance uh, that this was traveling but uh, that's enough for this and it was easy to carry up uh, the mountain so i opted for that one for for this particular shot the camera is slowly moving up this hill and i also included a panning motion with uh, the serp genie mini uh, in order to reveal more of the landscape uh, behind here and i think that created a pleasant composition between the right and the left in this image so for this shot, I used uh, again the Sony A7R2, this time with the Sony 16-35mm to lens, uh, f4. Uh, I put the aperture to f9 in order to include both the foreground and the background in focus. ISO 100 and I put the shutter speed accordingly. Uh, and this time it was 100th of a second. And I didn't do a long shutter speed in this one because the ocean is so far down that it wouldn't matter anyway and there are no fast moving object in the scene so there wasn't really much use in having a long shutter speed in this one the interval was five seconds although i doubled the speed of this in post so actually the interval was kind of 10 seconds and i increased the speed to, in order to see more clearly that rain coming in in post, I didn't have to do very much. Uh, it was pretty straight out of camera. No de-flickering had to be done, although I had to use two key points in uh, LR time-lapse to smooth out the exposure a bit because when the rain came in, it became a lot darker. So that was easily done with two key points in LR time-lapse. I also gave it a bit of a green, blue, aqua kind of look in order to uh, match it more with the other clips in the storm rainy sequence of my film. So remember to color correct your uh, sequences related to what's before and what will come after. So that was pretty much what I did for this clip. In the next one, we're gonna have a look at this one. Thank you for watching.